Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. If you're new here, hello, come on in. You're very welcome. My name is Karen. I own a nail art company in the UK called Nail Sugar. And I also love to do nail art videos and I upload every Wednesday for you guys. Um, just using a range of my favorite products and nail sugar goodies as well too. So I have my handout, an A, out ready to go here. And um, oh, she's just so realistic looking. Today's video is actually inspired by this beautiful ring. It's my birthday tomorrow, um, the 1st of July. And my hubby bought me this ring. It is a little queen bee ring, uh, which is a little honey bee. And as you can see, um, the body of it is um, um, this beautiful sparkly amber stone and um, it's just gorgeous I adore bees so uh, my garden's filled with all types of plants um, that attract them I tend to buy lots of bee loving plants because I adore bees so um so yeah I just wanted to do a bee inspired set so that's what we're going to be doing today oh and I wanted to show you this guys this is from a company called painted and posted they're on instagram um this here was gifted to me by a very lovely friend of mine um who sent it as an early birthday present so thank you so much you know who you are and um it's a beautiful palette and a brush uh, tray as well a little brush holder tray and it has that that little brush rest in it too um so just a beautiful it's a small business and just such a beautiful item so i will leave the links to that down below in case you want to go check out painted and posted they have some beautiful stuff Okay, so jumping in with some pink grapefruit here from Neo Nail. This is a beautiful peachy pinky kind of nude color. Um, I really like this tone. It is, um, it's warming, but it's neutral. It's just nice. It's really nice. Um, so I'm going to do a layer of that. And actually, in fact, I think I ended up doing three coats on this. Um, it is one of those colors that you will want to sort of build up. And um, I think two would have been fine, but I just went for the three just to make sure. So, um, so yeah, so I'm just going to apply that first coat nice and neat. Be careful around the cuticles. And um, and if I need to, I can go in with a detailer brush just to sort of look tidy anything up. Because, you know, um, it's better to do that than go under the skin. So, uh, so, yeah, so once I have that coat on, then I'm going to go in for a cure, build it up, and I will see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to now with some Lucky Penny. Just look at that sparkle. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, this is a beautiful amber holographic glitter from our core collection. And oh, I just love it so much. I adore it. This is going to be um, the little honeybee's body. So I'm going in and I'm just lifting out some of the um, smaller chunks of that. And I'm just going to sort of start to put that there together to build what would be the sort of the shape of um of the body so once i have those in um i can also or i'm sorry once i have those on i can move them around then with the other end of the little um wax dotting tool and um yeah just get them into place before i go in for a cure Okay, so now that we're out of the lamp and those little glitters are all secured, I'm going in with some matte top coat and uh, I'm going to cure that so that I can go ahead and use some uh, gel polish here and just paint on some detail off his little body. Don't forget, whenever you're using your brush, um, the like of your um, nut muck brush, the, um, the more upright you have it, the thinner the line that you get. And the more at an angle that you have it, the thicker the line. So it's sort of better for filling in. So just remember that if you are recreating this design and you're doing, say, the smaller details like 
the little um, feelers of the bee and stuff like that, and maybe even the wing detail. Keep your brush um, upright if you want a really thin line. So, um, so yeah, I'm just adding some detail. I will be back in a moment. Okay, so putting some of the transfer, is it the transfer foil gel onto, I couldn't think of the name of it there, um, onto my little nail art palette. Um, I'm just going in with my Nat Mag Detail brush here and I'm just um, painting on where I would want the wings to be because I am going to be using the Nova Hollow Foil for that. Um, and I can also obviously turn my hand around as I would do with a client and do the other little wings so that it all looks um, pretty even if you know what I'm saying. And um, so once that's been cured, that's me going in with some of the Nova and just pressing that on. Um, as you can see there, I'm just... Just add that and it comes off no bother at all. It's um and it just gives that that little detail of the wings. It's so pretty, so so pretty. Okay, and once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and top coat over that uh just to seal it all. I will come back to this nail in a bit. Um, so yeah, I've popped that in for a cure, but moving on now to the ring finger. This was the finger that I wanted to do, kind of like the honeycomb drips on this. So again, I'm going in with some of that transfer foil gel that I have on my palette. And I am just literally running that down this nail, kind of as you can see, just around the cuticle. And then I'm just pulling the Natmug brush down and just sort of creating those little drips. Once I'm happy with that, I will pop it in for a cure. Okay, and there we go, just using some of uh, some copper foil that I had lying around. I have different coloured foils that I've bought personally um, from, I think, maybe oh, maybe two, three years ago, I want to say. Um, so I thought that I would use some of the copper one and um, that it would just match in perfectly. I just had went over some areas there where I didn't I didn't quite get the, the coverage. So... Um, so I just go back over it again with the detailer brush cure and then just go over it and again it's perfect. I'm just adding a little bit of base coat here because I wanted to add in some of the um, the little sort of smallish hexes there from the mix so it sort of gives that honeycomb appearance if you will. Um, so once I'm happy with the placement they will go in for a cure. And then moving on then to the pinky finger, which is going to be the same design as the pointer finger or your index finger, whatever you prefer to call it. And again, I'm just going in with some of those sort of small hexes and um, I'm just kind of lining those up and making, again, a little honeycomb pattern. Nothing too fussy because obviously the bee and the little sort of honeycomb drips on um, the middle finger and the ring finger I think are enough so I just sort of wanted to um, pull in a little bit more of that honeycomb design by just adding a bit of sparkle to the pinky and the index finger so yeah once I'm happy with that then I'll go in for a cure Okay, so back over to our little honeybee, and I think this is about the 19th time I've recorded this voice note. I swear it's not meant to be, honestly. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've jumbled my words, and then we had an ice cream truck pass, and then two really loud cars as well. So, um, so yeah, it has definitely been a challenge this last 
I would say 15 minutes. Um, but here we go. Fingers crossed, guys, we get through this one. Um, so yeah, just putting on the final detail of our little honeybee. And like I said before, keep your brush up straight for a nice fine line and you can angle it for a slightly thicker detail. Um, so once I'm happy with that, then we will pop that in for a cure and all I need to do is top coat that nail and that design is done. And there we go guys, that is everything top coated, finished and just, yeah, that's it. That's our final look. I hope you like it. Um, I think this is the very first honeybee set that I've ever done. So um, yeah, it was so much fun. Still need a little bit of practice with some of the detail. I'd like it to be a bit thinner, but that's okay. That's fine. That's part of the learning curve. So, um, but anyways, yeah, I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Thank you so much indeed for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a little comment down below. Say hi and all that good stuff. And have a great week, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.